good morning students this is rashal teacher and today we are going to learn the lesson the two story of turtle it is written by bhau kadare okay so first we'll see the central idea of the lesson in this lesson the writer bhau kadare mention how he and other volunteers save the sea turtles by involving villagers in protection to the local species okay so uh, if uh, we'll go for the summarize this lesson so we can see that the author is shocked at the condition of the sea turtles in maharashtra so he devises an excellent plan by involving villagers in the protection of and the conservation of the local species in order to make the project sustainable the volunteers develop the concept turtle festival or the kasav mahotsav okay so this is the story of the Uh, summary of this lesson so now we'll see the actual lesson a two story of sea turtles we were surveying the white bellied sea eagles in the summer that year as we roam the coast one of the volunteers in our team saw some shallow beaches with white egg shells nearby means that day they were just do the survey of the sea eagles in the summer and when they reached the coast one of the volunteers saw saw the shallow pits with the white shells after inquire inquiries with the villagers revealed that they were turtles eggs so when they inquire that they come to know that the uh, that eggs was that was the turtles eggs this came as a surprise we had never come across the turtle eggs in our walk along the beaches of kokan in all these years so till now they have not seen the turtle eggs when they were traveling along the beaches we decided to study this unusual occurrence further or if after that they decided that how to uh, that turtle eggs turtle egg shells come out and they want to research on it we learned that the beach where we had found the eggs shells uh, had been sealed to the public for nearly one month after people smuggling silver bricks were caught in that area but what we learned further shocked us to the core means what happened when they have seen that the turtle eggs were smuggling means stolen by the public people and so that they have sealed that area where they found the turtle eggs and after that what they come to know it was a little bit shock to them so what was that the turtle nets along the entire coastal line of our state there are a few people in every village who keep combining the beach in the early hours of the morning means what happened in the morning every time those who are leaving in the nearby the village they were just roaming the beach in the early morning and throughout the year it is like that when the female turtles comes on a shore to nest and lays their eggs she leaves behind a trail just like a track of a wheels on the sand means what happened when the female turtle comes to lay their eggs she was just leave the trails like a uh, means the legs uh, footprints over there so uh, the eggs hunters follow this trail right up to the nest which is about half a meter deep and after that those who want to take that eggs they just go there they follow that uh, footprints and half a meter they have a deep they dig up the nest and they dig up the nest and steal all the 100 and 150 eggs that are laid inside and all the eggs they are stolen these eggs are then either eaten or are sold in the market so these eggs are either eaten or sold in the market if a turtle is spotted while it is still laying eggs it is allowed to leave till the laying is over and after that if they saw that the turtle is laying the eggs they were just wait till the turtle will lay the eggs as soon as the eggs are laid it is caught and then killed and eaten this ruthless 
practice is observed in all parts of the world however in india sea turtles have been given a protection by including them under the schedule 1 of the indian wildlife protection act 1972 and when they come to know that all these activities going on throughout the year by the villagers they are smuggling the eggs they are stolen the eggs so that the turtles are saved by the wildlife protection act that means turtle have been given as much protection as tigers therefore all this business of gathering turtle eggs and killing turtles is carried uh, in a secret hush hush manner means all these things are just done by secretly this information was distressing we began to think seriously about it and this information is very uh, distressing tension if will so that the uh, thinking about it we decided to undertake a project for the protection and conservation of turtles and their nest in maharashtra so they decided to protect the that turtles eggs and conserve that turtle nest in maharashtra we had no experience regarding the sea turtle so first of all we undertook a study of turtles they don't know about the sea turtle so that they started studying about the sea turtle we contact institutes that work for the protection of turtles in india the next steps was launching a turtle protection campaign in velas after that we contacted all the institutes where the turtles uh, protection was studied in india after the next step they to they have started that the turtle protection campaign at velas taluka mankad district ratnagiri so where they have started this in taluka vihat uh, sorry campaign at velas taluka mankad district ratnagiri this was done with the support of and cooperation of the forest department because alone they cannot do anything so that they took the help of the forest department as a part of a campaign a few local people were specially appointed to look for turtle nests on the beach in the morning so what they have done so they cannot do alone all this thing so that they have appointed some local people specially for the turtle nest and when they came across the nest they had to carefully remove the eggs from the nest and bury them again in the similar pit but one protected with wire fencing and when they saw that the turtles have like laid their uh, laid her eggs they have took that eggs from that uh, pit and keeping in another pit and with the wire fencing so that anybody cannot stole that eggs they had watch over the protected nest to prevent the thefts because there are so many thefts those who are those who want to stole that nest so that they have protected that and prevent them by uh, by stoling in this first year we could successfully protect 50 nests in this manner so uh, like this they have done protecting the eggs of the turtle they have protected the eggs of 15 nest in this manner when the babies hatched out of the eggs what an even that was so you can also think that this much 50 eggs were buried in the peat and now the hatchlings the came out it was a amazing uh, scene over there then the when the babies came out the whole village rushed to beach to witness this spectacle so when the villagers came to know the hatchlings the babies are coming out from the eggs so all the village gather over there to see this scene the, when the tiny turtles hatchling hurried across the silver sand to meet the rolling boundless sea what an ovation they received from the onlookers so when the hatchlings come out and they very hurriedly go to the silver sea very small small babies rushing to the boundless sea what a amazing scene it was 
all are looking the same. Some of the elderly villagers confess that though they had seen and stolen the turtle's eggs right from their school days, it was for the first time that they had seen the hatchlings rushing to the sea. So, so many people are, aged people are looking over there that scene. They also said that it was an amazing scene and his whole um, life till they had not looked this kind of nice scene. The hatchling rushing to the sea. It was really amazing scene they have, so they said. There are seven types of turtles in the world, five of which are found in India. And the olive ridley turtles nest along the entire coastal line of Maharashtra. Green turtles and hawkbills have also been found. So there are five kinds of turtles in India we can found. So among them is olive ridley. In Maharashtra, green turtles and hawkbills also we can see. An amazing characteristics of turtle is that when the female turtle reaches maturity, that is nearly after a gap of 15 years, she returned to the shore to lay her eggs at the same place where she was born. So it was quite amazing that the female turtles when come to an age to lie the eggs, she choose only same place where she have born. The females comes on shore just to make the nest in the sand and lay her eggs and immediately return to the sea. She does not return to the nest after that. And once she lies the eggs over there, she does not come back to look the, her eggs. The eggs hatch after a period of 45 to 50 days using the natural yield. So they doesn't need heat and anything from, her, from their mothers. Naturally, they heat up and born. Innumerable dangers await a little hatchling in the deep sea. And they have to face them all on their own. Nobody is going to teach them how to swim in the sea, how to survive in the sea. Their survival rate is therefore as low as just one or two turtles out of thousand. Turtle performs an important function. They keep the seas clean. So, therefore, if maybe there are a hundred or... 150 eggs lies by the female turtle but the survival rates are very less because the mother turtle cannot come back to watch her egg again. The eggs hatchlings uh, hatches by the natural heats and once the hatchlings come out from the eggs that babies have to face innumerable suffering, the difficulties in her in the life of the turtle and when they go inside the sea there are so many aquatic animals are waiting to eat babies turtle some so that they have to survive all these difficulties all that obstacle and after that this they their survival rate is very less so only one or two turtles out of thousand turtles are uh, born so we have, we must protect all these turtles. Turtles for fawns and important functions. They keep the sea clean so that we have to survive all these turtles. Thus they occupy an important place in marine ecology. Considering all these factors, it is a vital to undertake their protection on a large scale. So all these factors are very important for protecting the turtles for keeping the ecosystem you know, on their place. Because if we spoil the ecosystem, it will be a great loss of our uh, natural surroundings. So it is everybody's duty to do not spoil the ecological balance of nature. Because in any ways, it will return back to us. It is a boomerang whatever we took from the nature we have to give back it so uh, the remaining lesson we will see in the next chapter 
the difficult words i'll give you but i don't think there are so many difficult words are there so if any difficult words are there i'll definitely give you the um give you the difficult words so th i hope everybody have understood this lesson now we'll see the remaining parts in the next session we'll discuss the question answer in the whatsapp thank you students thank you